court has said more than once. The high court has dismissed a petition seeking to reverse the government directive banning night travel by public service vehicles. The petition filed by four bus operators was thrown out by Justice Isaac Lenaola, who said the government's legal notice was not a blanket embargo, but a regulation. It is the operation of legal notice number 129 of 2013 that caused the chaos because these operators have not complied with the conditions set out in that operating, in that, uh, um, in that uh, notice. And therefore, if there is no ban and there is no directive, what is this court going to act on in, in giving these orders? That was the first hurdle that the applicants uh, faced. Lenola says the petitioners have failed to provide sufficient evidence and did not table the contested licenses, which they claimed allowed them to operate both day and night. While delivering his ruling, the judge explained that his judgment was based on public interest. Regulations 11, 12, and 13 of that legal notice make certain provisions. In 11, they provide that a person shall not operate a long-distance nighttime passenger vehicle without a valid license issued by the authority. All these applicants have not shown any license issued by this authority. Number two, the, a person applying for long-distance night passenger service vehicle shall specify whether the service intended to be offered during the day only or during both daytime and night. These applicants have not done that. PSV operators, through their lawyer, Harrison Kenyanjui, filed the application last week describing the ban as an abuse of power by the Ministry of Transport. The case hearing was, however, delayed by duty judge Weldon Career due to a similar pending case. I'm Angel Mirore for Capital TV. Hey. <laughs>